Hello and welcome to this review from sonicstate.com forward slash amped, uh, Sonic State's guitar channel. I'm Richard Beach and today I'm going to be taking you uh, through the Waghorn Kronos 6 guitar. We've also got Rob who's doing another one of the Waghorns we got hold of. If you've never heard of Waghorn, you're probably not alone. They're a fantastic guitar company from Bristol in the UK, not very far away from where we are right now in Bath. And uh, they basically make very, very nice guitars. Um, and we're going to tell you all about them and we're going to show you how they sound today. Right, so in terms of spec, which is massively important on this guitar, which is custom made, uh, we've got a wonderful five piece through neck on the back, which is maple. And you can see that going down into the body here. The body itself, you can see on the back, is swamp ash. And then if I flip it around to the front, we've got a flame maple top. It's quite a nice finish on there in blue. And a quick note about the pickups, we've got two bare knuckle war pick pickups in here, which are calibrated, and we've got a three-way toggle switch. This is volume here, and there's no tone. The three-way toggle switch, if you have it on the, um, the downward position, you have the bridge pickup. If you flick it to the middle, you've got uh, a coil-tapped bridge and neck together, and then up at the top, you've just got the, the neck um, humbucker. And staying down on the body, here we have a shallow sort of I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say Floyd Rose, but it's essentially a Floyd Rose. And then we have the corresponding locking nut up here at the top. And uh, yeah, just a really nice guitar. Oh, and the, uh, the fretboard is Unbound Ebony. It plays really, really well. Um, and it's got these cool little aluminium round fret inlays in there as well. Uh, 24 frets, um, jumbo fret wire, kind of, um, ready to go for metal and, and heavy rock really so um, let's have a little more of a listen to how it sounds. Okay so I'm on the bridge pickup at the moment uh, I'm going to give you high gain sounds of the bridge uh, and then the coil tapped um, pair and then the neck. <laughs> Okay, and now this is the coil tap. And now we're going to the neck. It's quite a smooth sound on the neck, quite like it actually. Just so you can get an idea of rhythm sounds as well, here we go, same amp settings, I'm uh, going down to the bridge pickup now, I'm going to play a rhythm. And now the coil tap. And now the neck. Three quite different sounds, um, three very different sounds for lead actually. Uh, the, obviously the most different one is the, uh, the coil tap in the middle. It kind of comes into its own when you want a clean sound actually. So um, what I'm going to do is change the amp settings and I'm going to play some cleaner stuff for you just to show that this guitar is actually pretty versatile. Right, so the bridge sound on uh, clean, here we go. Not a massive fan of that, it's probably the one weakness of the guitar. Uh, the coil tap though, sounds pretty nice. And here we go for the neck. So I really like the neck and the uh, coil tap in the middle. On the clean sound, I'm not such a massive fan of the bridge, but it is actually my favorite setting for lead. So there's a good bit of versatility, which is important because obviously this guitar doesn't have a tone pot, so you don't have the option of uh, playing around there. Uh, but I think it's sort of make, made up for with the um, versatility in terms of the pickup selection. In terms of playability, um, I'm gonna say it, and this might upset uh, some other guitar companies, but this is probably the best guitar I've ever played on. 
Um, it just is so easy to play. I can pick it up and I find myself doing things I wouldn't usually do. Um, it doesn't feel like a guitar I've played before. Um, and you know, that's really important to me. The neck is really fast, it's really easy to play. It might just be that it fits my hands particularly well, um, but if you go on the Waghorn website, if you know what kind of neck profile fits your hands particularly well, then you can just ask for that on their website, on their online form. Um, so yeah, great playing guitar, great sounding guitar, and uh, let's just play a little bit more so you can enjoy that. <laughs> I've got to say, um, when you've got high gain on this, it's just a pleasure to play. Uh, it comes into its own. The price is £2,095. Um, so it's not a cheap guitar, but when you consider that it's made by uh, basically two guys in a, in a small workshop in Bristol, um, lovingly put together, and you've got that kind of whole customer service thing as well, where you can say what you want, and if anything's wrong with it, you know, it can be sorted. Um, it's not an unreasonable price whatsoever. Um, I think it plays a lot better than factory-made guitars that sell for around the same price. Um, I see. Obviously, there is the downside of not having a tone control on this particular guitar, uh, but for me as a player, it doesn't really matter because I, you know, I think I can get enough out of the uh, pickup selection, and I do so much with pedals personally when I play that um, I don't really use the tone knobs that much. Um, so yeah, a good guitar, really well, really well made. Um, it feels just solid. The weight of it is um, is quite substantial, uh, and you kind of feel that when you're playing uh, standing up, actually. So great effort, Waghorn. Uh, one of the best guitars I've ever played. In terms of craftsmanship, um, definitely I think the best I've ever played. Uh, it's just the electronics for me, which don't really suit my playing that well. I'm not a metal guitarist at heart. Um, so it's not really for me, but if you wanted something that was more versatile electronically, then you know you could get a model and ask them to put single coils in it. Um, so you know the the sky is the limit. Um, it will also probably push the price up the more customized options. But there you go. And now my colleague Rob is going to show you another Waghorn guitar, a uh, bit of a different setup on that one. And uh, here we go. <laughs> Hi guys, Rob from Sonic State here. This is the Waghorn Double Cut 6. Um, similar vein to the, the, the Kronos that Rich was playing. Slightly fewer features. Uh, actually, it's not got slightly fewer features, it's got different features. There's no tremolo on this one. Okay, okay so we've got a shallow bridge, really, really nice bridge on this thing. Uh, we've got bare knuckle of Brax's pickups, which are fairly high gain, but you can still get a decent enough clean sound out of them. We've got a Brazilian rosewood neck board, or fingerboard, uh, with, with rosewood inlays, and just, Little bits like this just look so good. It's an actual piece of wood. It's not some randomly gent like created in a factory. This is handmade. And the finish on this thing is just phenomenal. I mean, the binding of it, everything. And it weighs nothing, but it has a load of sustain. So it's exactly the kind of guitar that somebody like uh, kind of Mark Knopfler or someone like that would play because it can do so much. It can go really, really high gain metal, but it'll also do that really nice kind of breaking up and the clean stuff as well. Um, shallow machine heads at the end in black, which I think is really, really pretty. And um, yeah, just overall a really, really well made, really well put together piece of kit. 
Uh, it's 1,795 quid, which again is an awful lot for a guitar which looks very simple, but it's difficult to explain. If you held this and played it, you'd kind of go, that's why it's that much money. It's got a tone control, which is uh, the one thing that the Kronos lacked. It's got a three-way switch. There's no coil tapping on this, so it's literally just bridge, both, neck, and you've got a volume as well. The only thing I would mention is that the volume pot isn't capped, uh, which means that when you play, if you take off some of the volume, you lose the top end of the sound. That's not a difficult thing to fix. And again, because Waghorn are so very good at customizing anything you want, you can just say to them, I need it capped so that you can keep that clean sound. I was completely unaware of this until I did it on my Strat. And all of a sudden you can turn the Strat right down and, get, and still have a clean sound. Um, to be honest, that's my only real complaint about this guitar. Everything else about it is really nice. Um, well, we realize that these reviews sound very gushing, but that's because they're really nice bits of kit. Okay guys, now we're gonna take a look at some clean sounds. I've got the gain kind of backed off from halfway, three o'clock on the bass, nine o'clock on the mid, three o'clock on the treble, a little bit of master just to get some volume. Um, this is the uh, neck pickup. Bear in mind these are both humbuckers, so uh, let's see what we can get out of it. Okay, let's try combined. Instantly you can hear a difference uh, between the neck and the, the, the combination. Now, normally I prefer the neck for clean stuff. Because it gives you a bit of a warmer sound, but... That's bright, but not too bright compared to the bridge, which is... It's again a bit quacky, a bit almost kind of too bright. But the combination of the two... Is just... And then of course if you go down to the bridge you get a Not a great clean sound, um, but what it does sound great on is when you whack the gain up. And these guitars really do come into their own when you, when you add a great deal of gain. So that's what we'll do now. So then we go straight up to the neck pickup, you get a much bigger, warmer kind of All that bottom end comes back and you and I think what Waghorn have done is they've really focused on the old kind of Gibson treble and rhythm sections. The, the bridge pickup is really good for lead. You get that kind of creamier sound with the with the neck, and it just gives you. It's just it's much more of a, a rhythm player, rhythm guitar player's guitar when you use the rhythm pickup, and it's much more. Of a, it's a very one or the other, but it will do both. If that makes sense. This thing plays really, really well. I have a few gripes, but not many. One, frets are a little bit high. It's not a big deal. There's no pot, there's no cap on the pot. Again, not a big deal. Waghorn will change all these things for you for a fairly reasonable price. So I can't really complain about it. There's nothing to, to say that I don't like about it. It sounds great. It looks fantastic. And it's, it's really light. It doesn't weigh anything. You could stand around on stage with this thing for hours and not feel like you're wearing anything. Personally, I think it's one of the best guitars I've ever played. 
and I've paid, played a fair few. It's just, well, look at it. Right, so one thing we forgot to mention is that these guitars come with his Cox cases, which are made in England. And uh, what's really impressive about these cases is this. 500 kg of crush weight. What's more impressive is this. That's frightening. <laughs> and that's really impressive. <laughs> All right, remember these are high-end custom-built guitars. These are actually stock models, so you can buy these particular ones, but they, they are custom-built. They are expensive, uh, £2,000. Uh, it's a lot of money. Um, I personally don't think it's a lot of money for a custom-built guitar. So if you want something that's posh, high-end, and uh, plays well, go and see the guys at Waghorn uh, in Bristol, uh, right in the centre of Bristol, which is a really cool location. And um, yeah, they're really nice guys, easy to get on with, and um, basically, if you ask for something, they'll give it to you. Six strings, five strings. Eight strings. Eight building. strings. I don't know what I said, five strings, that would be a bass. That would be a bass. Uh, uh, seven strings, um, 1,800 strings, anything you want. If you want to catch any more reviews and kind of news from uh, Sonic State, you can head to the website, which is www.sonicstate.com forward slash amped. You can go on YouTube, which is Sonic State. You can go on Facebook, which is Sonic Amped. And you can catch us on Twitter, which is at Sonic Amped. So you can go to all those places for news, reviews, lessons, um, interviews, basically anything about guitars. If you like guitars, good place to go. Um, we've been Rob and Rich, Rob and Rich, uh, looking at the Waghorn guitars for sonicstate.com forward slash amp. Cheers for watching. Have a good guitar filled day.